Hello folks, uh, so I'm just having a play around in my shed as you do. Uh, I hope everyone's had a good Christmas and looking forward to New Year. So I have a bit of an iPhone top tip. Now I say iPhone because this probably can be done on Android but I don't know how right now. So have you ever been riding along with friends you, on a motorway where you can't stop and you've seen a little cafe, a beautiful lake, a place that you think, oh, I really want to go back there. On the way back, we'll stop there. You've tried to make a mental note of it, and then later on, you just can't find it. And you've spent, you go on, go on, uh, go on to Google Maps, and you're like, I swear it was around here somewhere. And sometimes you find it, and other times you don't. And you think, wish I'd taken a note of it. Well, I've had that. I don't know if you have, so this might not be useful to anybody, but I've had that re repeatedly, especially touring and being somewhere new. So through the power of Apple shortcuts, I'm going to share with you a way that I've made uh, in order to basically be able to talk with my headset via Siri and tell it to run a shortcut that in my case, I've called Mark Location. And what it will do, I'll put some screenshots up now. What it will do is it will grab your current location that your phone thinks that it's at, extract the longitude and latitude, and then it will add it. It'll add a new line to any existing note in your notes app with the time and date and the, uh, the GPS coordinates so that you can go back later on and go, oh yeah, that was the day I added that. Oh, right, okay, that. And then you can paste that into Google Maps, Apple Maps, whatever app you use and be able to find it. So I'll stick a link in the description to uh, the shortcut itself. If you just want to download it and import it into your phone, you'll obviously need to make sure that you have a note that is referenced in the shortcut or call it the same name that I have. Uh, if you have any problems, drop a comment and I'll be happy to help. Now, there is a way to do it with what three words if you prefer that. However, there isn't a standard way within the Apple Shortcuts app to achieve that. So I've had to download and install an app called Toolbox Pro, which adds some more features to Apple Shortcuts. Now, it was $5.99 for a one-off purchase. I bought it a while back. Really useful. Um, so I'll also stick a link to that and a link to the Toolbox Pro app if you want to use that. Because uh, I tend to prefer what three words low Locations anyway. So you know, anyway, that's all from me. I hope that was helpful. You any problems? Uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone enjoys uh, the new year.